We're going to see what it's like to try to add hard drives to a Linux Mint 17 system. So I have a hard drive, US, a USB hard drive here. Notice it's already been mounted. So we're going to show how to reformat this drive, repartition this drive, uh, and then um, add it back to the system so it will auto mount when we uh, boot the system. So first of all let's see how we can remove the volume we have here and um, repartition it because your usual case when you add a disk or a frequent case when you add a disk to a Linux system is that it will have been used before so let's um, let's remove this so let's try disks the disks program and here we have the USB drive in the disk program. So I think we can unmount this drive first to safely remove, I guess. Oops, it disappears from here too. That doesn't work, does it? So in order to uh, clean up the disk, we're actually going to have to have it mounted. Let's see what happens. Uh, safely remove. Safely remove uh, removes the drive from the USB connection. So let's see if it'll come back. There we go. So I turned the drive off and on again, and it's back. So here we have a drive. Let's uh, destroy. Well, first of all, let's look. We have mount options. We're mounting this at startup, which means it's automatically mounting when I power cycle it. We're going to go back through this information. So let's turn this off now to remove the mount options auto automatic mount options and then let's uh, destroy this partition delete the partition so let's just delete that partition. Is that the correct hard drive? We obviously don't want to mess up any other disks on the system. Okay, so we have free space. Now, um, one of the things that I, problems that I had before when I mounted, uh, tried this with the original drive was that um, the drive showed up twice and I think that may have been because the drive had been used in a RAID system now I'm not an expert w with all of this information. I've gone through this to make it work uh, and have done some research but uh, I don't I don't know everything about how Linux works internally. Let me see if I can find
Okay. Well, so if you the 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 th problem I had before was that it the disk showed up twice. It showed up in this list and it showed up again down here. In order to remove that the second case, I had to delete the partition and then reboot. And then the disk came back in this list without a partition and then I could uh, add a add the partition and didn't have the second uh, copy of the disk. So the second copy may have actually been the missing part of the RAID set that the disk had originally been in because the disk may have been used before in a RAID set. So in this case we've removed the partition and we're back to a state where we can add a partition at this point. So we're using the disk program, disks program. So let's add a partition so we can use this with Linux. So the plus sign creates a new partition. We want to use, uh, we can use quick. Uh, we don't want to use NTFS. Uh, if this is for a Linux system, let's use ET, EXT4. And um, let's try a name here. So this is a USB drive. It's 500 gigabytes. Create. So it's just uh, finished. So now we can um, mount the file system. So there it is. Now I think the problem is that at this, at this point it won't auto mount when we uh, reboot. So uh, let's look at our um, uh, auto mount options and see what uh, what's happened. So it's not marked uh, mounted startup. Notice it is mounted at media uh, in my name and with the label that I gave it when I created the partition. So that's what caused it to mount here. I can see it in my file explorer and it shows up on the desktop for easy access. So if I check this, I believe that if I restart, it'll remount automatically. Now, research has indicated that you do not want to check show in user interface because there's a bug. And I have confirmed that if you check that, it does you do not see it. It does mount, but you do not see it. So I don't know what the exact nature of that bug is or under what conditions it shows up, but I have found that you don't need to check it and you don't want to check it. So let's automatically mount this at startup. And again, we need to confirm or authenticate for that. Okay, so our mount options are set to mount auto mounted startup. Now let's test this 
with a power cycle of the drive itself and see if it auto mounts. So let's do safely remove drive. So it's now gone as we can see. So now I'll flip the power switch off and back on again and we'll see what happens. It mounted automatically. So our drive is back on the desktop and in the file explorer. And of course it shows up here. So now what I want to do is test to see that it will auto mount if we reboot the system. So I need to stop the video and uh, do that. So I'll be right back. So we're going to reboot the system. We use restart. So the system has rebooted. And as you can see, the drive is back. It appears in the file manager and on the desktop. So it looks like it works. The process is the same with the um, SATA drives. Uh, previously I added these two drives video 2 and video 1. Notice that I typed a label with a, a slash and you don't need to do that. Um, but of course once you start um, you can't, you know, once you start using a drive you can't really change the label on it. Let me show you what that lo those look like in um, the disks program. Here's the two terabyte disks, disk, with and its mount options. So this isn't necessarily the default for SATA drives. I had to change these uh, options. And I'm not clear on just precisely what uh, what goes on here, but um, I found that in order for them to show up in these drives to show up in the file explorer, I needed to use slash media, my username, and then the label of the drive. And I think it won't be underscore if you don't use a slash in the label. But that was what I happened to do first, was to use a slash, which is a problem. Or which causes the underscore, anyway. So, and again, show in user interface is not checked. So we're mounting these at startup, and as you can see from the previous restart, these SATA drives mount every time if they're set up this way. So that's how you can add the hard drives to your Linux Mint system.